ladies and dudes. We are heading back to the Matrix. Huh? Wait, what? Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lil Barkley, aka Boobop97. This is my review for a day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes. And I'm sure everybody's concerned about is. Did you see the brand new trailer for Matrix 4? And I better tell you the truth right now. Yes, I did. And I guess you, you want to know what's my main thoughts about it, huh? Yeah, it's kind of surprising to me that Warner Brothers had decided to go back to the Matrix. And, you know, give us a brand new storyline that nobody had ever thought about. And we all want to know what the heck happened to Neo. Well, if you did remember it in Matrix 3, he did die. I swear to my soul, he did die. He just sacrificed himself to stop those, uh... Those dudes who dressed up in black suits. He took care of all of them. In one blow. And we all want to know is, how the heck is he still alive? And I'm sure everybody is scratching their heads off for it. Man, yeah, I really want to know how the heck is he still alive. That's something I still want to know, even to this day. So, let's head on to what I thought about The Matrix 4. I will say, yeah, the trailer looks pretty darn interesting, and I will say the best part I love about the trailer is truly the semi-tography. I will say... Out of all the semi-tographies I did see from all three of the Matrix, even if I did see the film here or there a couple of times while back, I will say this is the best semi-tography I have ever seen in my whole entire life. Whoever made that semi-tography for the film, I think somebody or someone did a pretty good job with it. It's very bright, very colorful, it's very well detailed and sharp, and it's just beautiful. It's very darn beautiful to see. And I guess you want to know what's the main plot of the story. I think my main guess for the main plot of the story, I think Neo had lost his memory in somehow in some way. Maybe he's back to the way he was. You know, trying to be a normal guy, living a normal life, and... And I guess he's trying to make the best out of it, I guess. And my main guess is he forgot about that he's the chosen one, and there's a prophecy going on, and it's up to him to, uh, you know, get involved with the Matrix world, I guess. Oh yeah, and another thing that's kind of confusing is about uh, Neo's love interest. How did she turn back into life? I thought she also died from the Matrix 3. Maybe her memories got forgotten, I think? And maybe she became a normal human being as well. Yeah, I think that's what my mind guess is. And yes, we got introduced to some new characters here and there, and, and I think we're going to get introduced to brand new villains who also wear suits as well. I'm not sure who those main villains are, but, yeah, it sounds interesting. But I guess the most confusing part about this new Matrix 4, is it taking place in the real world or is it still continuing on in the Matrix? I really am not so sure about it. And I'm not sure if I want to see this movie or not. I think one of my major problems I have with The Matrix 4 is 
It's gonna come out on Christmas in December the 22nd, 2022. Mm, I think it would have been better if it should have been released on uh, January of 2022. Maybe that will be a little bit easier for that film. Maybe that way we could give some other films a chance, you know, be in the movie theater and see which one of them they'll, they'll be successful at the box office. I only know two films that's coming out this year for December is The Real Spider-Man 3, No Way Home, and also West Side Story. I know, it's kind of confusing, and we have no idea which film that we want to see for the rest of the year, I guess. So overall, I will say for my main thoughts about The Matrix 4, it's pretty darn good and interesting in so many ways, but there's some things that's kind of confused me from here and there. Uh, I will give this trailer an 8 out of 10. It's really good, and maybe for the star rating, maybe three and a half out of five, I think. So, what is your main thoughts about the trailer of The Matrix 4? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's pretty decent? Uh, tell me, ladies and dudes, are you looking forward to see The Matrix 4 in theaters, or you're gonna watch it on HBO Max? Well, whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. And join me next time. I gotta do two movie reviews for September. I gotta do the Digimon Adventures, the last evolution, and also my 10th anniversary video of my movie review of Take It. Yeah, I can't wait to do those two movie reviews because it's very darn important to me. And I'll also I'll be back for other videos to come in the main future, but I don't know what it is yet. Well, you'll wait and see what happens, ladies and dudes. So, I'll see you guys later, and sayonara.